All right, so in this video, it's going to be about 10 plus cheapies for the beginner. So if you are looking to start a collection, then these may be some fragrances that may interest you after I talk about them. If you're interested in them, definitely check them out. These are inexpensive fragrances, quote unquote cheapies that you can find anywhere. Now, if you're not into rack stores, <laughs> then definitely you can find these online um, for the same price, maybe cheaper in most cases, but we'll get to that in a second. Stay tuned. So I'm glad you made it back. For those of you who are first timers to this channel, my name is Keith and this is The Fragrant Life. And here we talk about all things fragrance related, whether it's the high end stuff, as you can see up here, or the cheapies, clone houses, inexpensive, whatever type fragrances, we talk about it all here. If you are not a subscriber to the channel, then make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. There's a bell icon that's gonna be up in your right hand corner. Tap that bell icon when it opens up, you hit all so you get all content uploaded by me through this channel. Like the videos, thumbs up, share these videos and be active in the comment section. And if you're thinking that this is gonna cost you something to subscribe, you're wrong. It doesn't cost you a dime. So let's get to it. Now, I'm gonna do a niche and a designer list also. So stay tuned for those two videos. But this one, like I said, is gonna be my cheapy list for the beginner. Now, obviously I could not put everything on this list. And I know there are gonna be people who are gonna be in the comment section griping and moaning and groaning about why I didn't do this and why I didn't do that. These are just some of the fragrances in my collection that I personally own that I am recommending to the cheapy list or somebody starting a collection and want to look to go to the t uh, who wants to go the inexpensive route so let's get to it before i get any more tongue tied all right so first one this this these are in no particular order i just grabbed some fragrances i just sat them here on my little uh chair and we're just gonna go with it so the first one is from the house of Hugo Boss, and this is Boss Bottle. And this is the one that people associate with and having an apple pie type vibe. I don't really get an apple pie type vibe because trust me, this big boy loves some apple pie. But this does have the note of apple and it does have cinnamon. And I guess those are two things that can be um, noted to be in an apple pie it smells phenomenal there is or was an intense version i'm not sure if it's discontinued or not uh, but i did have that one but to me it wasn't intense enough that it was that different from the og so i got rid of that one but this one as you can see i really haven't used it that much um this one does have some performance issues but trust me wearing this people will notice um not so much with the mask on these days but people will notice if we ever get back to the norm this is a great smelling fragrance and i found this one at my local tj maxx which is next door to me inexpensive fragrance you can get depending on the bottle size you can get this for like 15 20 maybe 25 dollars and that's considered a cheapie to me so the first one up hugo boss bottle next up is one i actually recently uh got my nose on a few other reviewers mentioned this one and i finally saw it in a bells which is also next door to me and this one had a little bit high price tag on it for this little bitty bottle i think this is a I really can't tell if it's a 30 ml or 
50 ml 40 ml whatever it is but it's also from hugo boss this is hugo boss unlimited and this one is one of those spring summertime type freshies it's citrusy it is smooth i love this scent i really wasn't interested in giving a lot of hugo boss stuff um uh a second look but I'm highly and thoroughly glad that I got my nose on this one this is a great smelling scent now I obviously could have went with another fragrance from Lacoste but this one will suffice for this list so Hugo Boss Unlimited if you are looking for a barbershop type scent then look no further. The house of Azaro. This is Azaro Pour On. If you like that barbershop kind of vibe, I'm not going to say Fougere because I'm not into the game that long to truly have known anything about Fougere's, but this does give you a nice barbershop type vibe like you just left the barbershop got a haircut um very nice fragrance and the reason why this one looks like i have never used it is because i haven't i have a smaller bottle of it on my shelf over there somewhere but for me to have a backup bottle of this means i like this a lot so if you are into the barbershop type fragrance and you want one inexpensive you can definitely find this at your local rack stores or online I think there also is an intense version of this also. I have not smelled that one. I would love to get my nose on it, but all I have is a Zaro Pour Om. So, a Zaro Pour Om next up. Now, this one I like specifically, but I recommend any one of the fragrances, especially the ones that I have. I have like seven or eight so far from the House of Banana Republic. This one is number 78 Vintage Green, and I think this is from an Icon collection that they have. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Well, anyway, um, what do I get with this? Green, citrusy, this smells phenomenal. Um, I get decent performance out of this one. Oh, that smells so good, man. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna spray this one. Yeah, if you're looking for something spring, summer, this is very refreshing, uh, invigorating type scent. This will wake up your olfactory senses, and these can be found for around the $20 mark. I haven't seen these in a while. But if I do see them again and pop up, and they pop up some different ones that I don't have, then I'll definitely pick them up. But from Banana Republic, this is Vintage Green or any of the ones you see from this uh, specific line. This one I didn't really care for when I first found it. And I kept hearing, I think Justin Copeland mentioned it time and time again. Um, not just Justin, but I think the Bowtie Fragrance guy, Darian, he talked about it and it made me go out and get it. And when I smelled it, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just the time that passed and my nose had matured to like this fragrance. It is from the house of Sean John. It's 3 a.m. And this one is the 30 ml bottle, and which I have right here. But I ended up liking this one so much that I went back to the store and picked up a 100 ml that I didn't even open yet. And as you can see, I have not used it that much, maybe once or twice, but I have so many other fragrances that I usually don't, I'm not able to get back around to it, but I need to stop making excuses and start wearing some of these fragrances in which I may wear this one tomorrow. But this one is nice. The atomizer is nice. It smells fantastic. I don't know why I didn't like this the first time I smelled it. But um, it does have, I think, like a gin accord or something in it. 
um, it is to me it's not really fresh but it does have a hint of sweetness um, this is a fantastic fragrance man and not a lot of people mention it especially in their cheapy list I think it should be at least in a cheapy list which I have it here but from the house of Sean John 3 a.m. the next one is probably discontinued as far as I know I have this one and I have a backup bottle of it down here I'm honestly not a huge fan of this one but I think a lot of other people out there in the fragrance community love this one so much that I had to mention it. It is from the house of Guerlain. This is Lone Ideal Cologne. And like I said, I do believe that this one is discontinued. But if you find one lingering somewhere in a rack store, bet you better go ahead and pick it up. These were running you about $20 to maybe $25. And once these are all the way depleted, uh, the, the price may or may not, but it may skyrocket, who knows, um, with all the hype behind this fragrance, it might. But this one, you get a citrusy, very smooth, it has almond, it smells nice, I'm just still not the hugest fan of this particular fragrance, but I do own it, so... Long EDR Cologne by Guerlain. The next one doesn't get a lot of love, but I own it. I've had a big bottle of it. I've actually sold it to somebody who couldn't find it in their local stores. This one, okay, my cap is missing off of that one. Well, the atomizer, what did, I think I sold the big one because the atomizer got messed up and I took it off of this one. But anyway, this is Zegna Uomo. And this is what the box looks like if you run into it in the rack stores. But this is the fragrance. This is what the bottle looks like. And this is just another one of those fresh, kind of fruity type fragrances. Very likable fragrance. It's in it inoffensive. Uh, you can wear this to the office. Definitely office safe. Safe. You can find this for like nine between nine ninety nine up to about twenty bucks, depending on the bottle size. And I like this one. And it's too bad that not a lot of people mention this, especially for spring and summer in their cheapy list. But you know, with it being so many other fragrances out there in the world, I haven't even gotten my nose on a lot of things. Um, but from the house of Zegna, this is Zegna Uomo. All right, this one was recommended to me and sent to me by a subscriber and a new um, reviewer on YouTube. And I think he still does them on Instagram. He reached out to me and said he wanted to send me something. And I'm not a huge Hugo Boss fan or Hugo fan, but... He sent me this one, and this one surprised the hell out of me. I wore this to my girlfriend's house to go pick up my son, and this was lingering in her house, and she texted me when I left and said, whatever it is you're wearing, it smells great. This is from the house of Hugo Boss. This is Hugo Iced. And what you get with this one, you get a lot of citrus. It is fresh great atomizer oh, that smells so good man I am so glad that I was recommended this one because I've seen fragrances like this in the rack stores and I just pass them up because there's not a lot of talk about it amongst the frag heads in fragcom and I think we get caught up in the hype of all the stuff like Zerjoffs and Parfums de Marley's that we overlook a lot of these fragrances but that's why this one ended up on my cheapy list from Hugo Boss, Hugo Iced. This one I believe is discontinued also. This one is very, very nice. And this is one I followed a hype train when I first came into the game. And I'm glad I did because this one is the perfect office scent. It doesn't smell like, um, what is the fragrance I'm thinking about? Prada Loam, 
but it gives off that same kind of vibe like that fresh kind of office safe office friendly type vibe the gentleman type vibe this is calming soothing relaxing because of what's in it this is from the house of mont blanc this is star walker and i'm telling you i think this is discontinued and i'm not saying pick this up because it's discontinued I'm saying pick this up before it's gone so you can experience it for yourself. This one I believe has a note of bamboo and there are some other notes in it that I can't recollect right now. But this one does have a soothing, a calming quality. You can wear this fresh out of the shower like you're getting ready to go to bed or if you wanna do some daily things, office safe, office friendly. You can spray the heck out of it. It's not gonna offend anybody and i love this scent you also can pick this one up for a really really great price i'm not sure like i said if this is discontinued then the price may shoot up on this one because it's a mont blanc uh, fragrance and mont blanc actually makes some great fragrances a lot of them i did not put on this list but you should give that house a check a try from the house of mont blanc star walker All right, we're getting to the creme de la creme. If you thought I wasn't gonna put some fragrances on here that is gonna be for cool weather or date night type scents, then you're wrong, cause I got some for you. The first one I'm gonna go with, and there is, I think a Parfum or Eau de, Eau de Parfum edition of this, whichever one, but I only have the EDT. And this is from the house of Cartier. This is Linval de Cartier. And this has like a honey, a sweet honey note. This is fantastic. The bottle is nice, has that twist down mechanism. Uh, the atomizer is not bad on this at all. Yes, this is a date night scent. If ever I've ever seen one, you definitely can wear this in the fall and winter. This is class sophistication. This smells so fantastic the house of cartier does not get enough credit for their fragrances and this is one that needs a lot more attention linval de cartier another fragrance that is very inexpensive i got this one for like 20 dollars, but you also can go on their website and you can probably get a a combo set two fragrances for for the price of one but the house of zara is what i'm talking and this about. one is 9.0 this is not the reformulated one i've seen the bottle on that one it does not look like this one and i'm glad i got this one when i did because this stuff is phenomenal it's not weak like the newer ones that i've heard about and if you want to know what this one kind of reminds me of this one kind of reminds me of um what is the name of it valentino womo which i'm overlooking this one it kind of has this vibe to it um definitely a very sexy date night scent this one has the notes on it it has bergamot juniper berries coriander pepper cardamom oris vetiver amber and cedar wood and when i tell you that this is a gorgeous smelling scent man oh man and i wish a lot of you could have gotten your nose on this version of it not the new reformulated one this stuff lasts forever and it does not take but maybe two sprays of this i wore this to the hospital and i got compliments with this one all day long so from the house of zara 9.0 and you can get this one, I think, for like, well, I got this one, I think I paid like 20 for it. But prices fluctuate on Zara. So sometimes you can get this for one bottle for $15 or $20. Then you can get this and say, just say 8.0 or 7.0 or whatever. So you can get two bottles for 20 or two for 25, which is still not a bad deal. You get two 100 ml bottles. But this one was the one I loved the most. And that's what I got. Zara 9.0. Next on the list is one that gives me an Invictus kind of vibe. 
Um, if someone doesn't want to pay for Invictus, in which not everybody's going to agree with this, not everybody gets Invictus when they smell this, but I do. Um, but for about 12 to maybe 20 bucks, you can find this fragrance at your local rack store. Don't be fooled because online these can go anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks. Don't pay that for it when I've seen these for like 12 and 14.99 up to 20 uh, bucks. From the House of English Laundry, Cambridge Nights. And this gives off an Invictus kind of vibe to me. It's got that kind of bubblegum sweetness, but this has a little bit of spice to it. Um, it's a great smelling fragrance. I love it. I just fight with it sometimes because I have another fragrance, Invictus, that smells kind of like this. So, um, I mean, if you have Invictus, then you want to save that one and use this then i get it but for the beginner this is a great starter scent from english laundry cambridge night all right last but definitely not least this is one i had a little conversation with uh somebody posted this on facebook that this was their scent of the day and i commented and i said great freshie and the reason why i call this a freshie is because it has some sweetness and some citrus in it that gives it that fresh kind of vibe to me it's not considered a freshie but that's the vibe i got from it and somebody else commented and said you know uh you must not have worn this in a while it's not fresh or something like that and it it wasn't a debate but it kind of was turning into one, but I had to calm down. I had to let him know, hey, the aspect that I got from it is just my opinion. From the sweetness in the citrus, it gives off a fresh vibe. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Chanel Allure Home Sport O Extreme, but this one is a little bit on the spicy side from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is Uomo Signature. And that's the only reason why I said it gives gives me a fresh vibe. Oh, that smells so good. It gives off a fresh vibe. It's because of the sweetness and the citrus that's in this. But other than that, great smelling fragrance. I would definitely wear this in the fall, maybe winter, uh, spring if it's still kind of cool out like it's been. But other than that, I would not dare wear this in the heat of the summer because this can get cloying it does have a little bit of powderiness to it but for the most part this is a great scent inexpensive um i can't tell you what the price of the 50 or the 100 ml bottles are but this is a 30 ml and i got this one for a pretty good deal so from salvatore ferragamo this is uomo signature so hopefully this list gave somebody who is looking to start a collection and you want to start on the cheapy side then definitely look into some of these fragrances they are some fantastic smelling fragrances um, I will say this for the cheapy uh, for the person who's looking to dive into the cheapies make sure you pick up quality over quantity don't sit and look at some of our reviews like mine and you see all this stuff behind me and get into that pissing competition and thinking that you have to have more than the next man because I got into that also and I felt like I was like oh man I don't need all these fragrances a lot of stuff I was just picking up just because don't do that to yourself I mean if you're gonna go down that cheapy route then make sure you're gonna love every last fragrance that you pick up because I found myself not liking or loving a lot of fragrances and a lot of this stuff I got rid of and a lot of the cheapies and inexpensive fragrances that I own now are the ones I know I like or love and the ones that I pick up the most and spray. Um, there are a lot of things I want to talk about when it comes to that, but we'll get into that in another video. So once again, I hope this video shed, shed a little bit of light on if you're starting a, an inexpensive collection, then definitely look into checking out some of these and more. So with that being said, I am out of here, y'all. Here is to smelling great. Peace.